Viewer discretion advised. Good morning, Metalheads. Welcome to another episode of Thrash Talk. Today we're reviewing Overkill. So the band was formed in Old Bridgetown Township, New Jersey. The status is active, formed in 1980, originally formed the same year as Virgin Killer. And the genres are thrash metal and groove metal, and the lyrics contain death, violence, rebellion, metal, society, war, corruption, and humor. And the current label is Nuclear Blast Records. Here are the notes about the band. The band underwent a more groove-oriented style shift with, here, with I Hear Black in 1993. Eventually, they dropped the groove metal elements and returned to the earlier style of Ironbound in 2010. Early covers, especially those under the Virgin Killer name in the very, very early days, were punk bands for most part including sections by the Ramones and the Dead Boys. By 1980, they recruited two guitarists, names forgotten over time, and set the lists, including songs by Motorhead, Judas Priest, and Iron Maiden, and also Riot, as well as smattering of punk covers, which they played in Extra Distortion, Exanity, and Concentration. In 1981, guitarist Dan Spitz, Layer of Anthrax and Anthony Armandolo left the band and Rich Conte entered with Mike Sherry at the point. They started writing originals including Grave Robbers, Rise of the Dead, Overkill, Unleash the Beasts Within. More originals would follow including Rotting of the Rotten to the Core. Somewhere around the time, Dan and Rich left and Bobby entered with Joe and somebody on guitars. The band became the staple at New York and New Jersey clubs around 1982. And soon Bobby lived to his Blitz nickname, earning an ejection from the band for a few days in 1983. The lineup would stay a consistent until 1987, when Ratskates left the band, he was replaced by Mark Archibald, or that's how you pronounce it. That's how I pronounce it. For a few gigs, and then a permanent bassist, Sid Falk, or Falk, previously of Paul Diano's Battle Zone. Bobby Blitz once said that the only former he miss is the co-founder Rat Skates. Then in 1990, Bobby G left and was replaced by Rob Canavino and Merritt Gant of Faith or Fear. This last, this lo uh, excuse me, this lineup lasts until 1992, when Tom Morer came up in dr on the drums and Rob and Merritt. Both left in 1995, Rob became the motorcycle racer and Merritt formed in several other bands, being replaced by Joe Como of Lage, of Lage Lord and Sebastian Marino. Joe left in 1999 to become the vocalist of Annihilator, and a cover kill album was recorded with the new guitarist Dave Lynx. Sebastian left and spent more time with his family, so Lynx played at uh, all the guitar parts in 2000's Bloodletting album. Joe Camo helped out the second guitarist on the tour for the album, which Dee Dee Verney missed part and after his wife gave birth, Derek Taylor stepped in as a bass player and later added permanently to the lineup as a rhythm guitarist though the band have recorded a four piece since the Taylor with Taylor 
with only the backing vocals and the performing live. Tim Moller left Overkill and his own accord in 2005 after 14 years with the band. Alright, so the band released, oh my god, 19 studio albums. And the albums are 1985, Feel the Fire, Fire, excuse me, to the 1987, Taking Over, 1988, Under the Influence, 1989, The Years of Decay, 1991, Horrorscape, 1993, I Hear Black, 1994, WFO, 1996, The Killing Kind, 1997, From the Underground and Below, 1999, Necroshine, 2000, Bloodletting, 2003, Killbox 13, 2005, Relax IV, I can't even say in Roman numerals, I don't, need, I don't know about Roman numerals. Anyways, 2007, Immortalis, 2010, Ironbound, 2012, The Electric, ele excuse me, The Electric Age, 2014, White Devil Armory, 2017, The Grinding Wheel, and 2019, The Wings of War. Alright, that's another episode of Thrash Talk. Coming up, we're reviewing Metallica. Have a good day, metalheads.